Speaker, but I have been absolutely clear that government policy is unchanged. I'm not sure what he finds confusing about government policy being unchanged. It is unchanged from the 2019 manifesto. Now, we did not, in 2019, put our manifesto on an edstone, Mr Speaker. (laughs) But I will have to say to him, it is clearly available for anybody to see online what the manifesto pledges that this side of the House all ran on, and government policy is unchanged, Mr Speaker, from then, with or without an Edstone. He is saying that it is sowing uncertainty. No, Mr Speaker. Actually, we have given absolute certainty here that government policy is unchanged from the pause announced in 2019. There is no review. Uh, We still have the pause from December 2019, which would be a science-led policy with the support of local communities if there were to be a change. And then finally, Mr Speaker, we heard about the green energy sprint. It's absolutely extraordinary. Since he was the Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change in 2010, we have increased the proportion of our electricity generation coming from renewables from 7% to 43%. Now, in any normal terms, that would be a sprint, but it's also a marathon in the sense that we have done that over a period of 12 years, almost a sextupling, Mr Speaker, if I might, of the amount of energy coming from our renewables compared to the time when he was in office. He talks about nuclear, Mr Speaker. But he will also remember the 1997 Labour manifesto when they said they saw no economic case for new nuclear power stations. And now he has the cheek, Mr Speaker, to come to the dispatch box today and urge that we get on with nuclear. The government is getting on with nuclear, Mr Speaker, and is getting on with renewables, doing exactly the green energy sprint he has suggested.